So in the previous video guys we talked about the system head and how to calculate it essentially just find out how much for a fixed system, for example this system, how much is the energy requirement you missed the video, you definitely need to check it right now and I also told you to think about this example 20% increase on flow rate, what will happen? well, flow rate means essentially velocity times area the area is exactly the same because the pipes are fixed so what are we doing right here is increasing the velocities so we're going to increase velocity and velocity increase normally means more friction so the previous system head was done for one specific flow rate what will happen if we want to know many flow rates well we're going to form the system curve which is awesome once again, never forget about the friction, friction increases with velocity, and the velocity heads by definition, these little guys right here and here, will increase. The only case in which you will not increase will be when you are moving from static, static here, uh, velocity of A of course is zero, and velocity of V is also zero. So the only thing that will change is uh, the friction. Okay. The position will be the same guys, you're not changing piping or heights and the pressure will be the same so let's do a little example imagine what will be the system head which is NWP for typical common flow rates imagine that you're in an industry in which you are operating between 0 to 5 gallons per minute depending on the demand of the process so the normal operation would say is 1 so you will calculate the head for this but wouldn't be it awesome to have many data for different gallons per minute and that's the idea of this example the system curve is essentially see how our system reacts so we have when we solve for our uh, system head we have this change right here and this change right here and the friction very important to know this friction normally pressure won't change and the height of our tanks won't change so the only thing that might changes velocity and the friction will definitely increase with respect of flow rate so let's calculate the flow rate and then the required work for each flow rate and please report these units in length such as meter or feet which is the very typical uh, notation for this system curve and recall that you just need to divide by gravity and before actually doing it let me cut the video because this is a very long exercise and it's very important to live very clearly this exercise this was a free preview you want to get full access go to my incompressible flow course the link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you're for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here if you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.